you channel 48 serving Burlington and Philadelphia get into a fight and the fight ensued onto another car there's a USWA over the try to break He's got Dreamer around the throat. Dutch Mantel has Shoe Baby around the throat of Tommy Dreamer and is dragging him around the floor here at the USWA Auditorium. wrestling fans and welcome to another edition of USWA Championship Wrestling. I am James Beard and it's my pleasure to be with you once again this week. This week's show is going to feature a lot of great action. I think you're going to really enjoy some never before seen footage on USWA television. We've also, because of some great response we've had, going back to our archives and we're going to show you a match that happened, well actually not too long ago, featuring some people that are still very prominent in our business. Also, we're going to see some tag team action, some great action from the big one, Memphis. And we're going to go back and show you some of the more bizarre, chaotic happenings in the USWA, which the SWA has been known for in its history, long before there was ever an ECW. Now, when we come back, we're going to show you probably the strangest opening to a TV show in the history of USWA. We'll be right back. Ahoy, my little starfish. Behold a fruit boat of love lost in your sea of beauty. I am a fruit whiz from Starburst. Come nibble on me and float on my river of fruit juiciness. Oh, a slippery mermaid. Ha ha ha. She plays her to get. Maybe cherry, lemon, or strawberry will entice you. Uh oh, cabana boys. Fruit whiz from Starburst. What's the big Today, people who didn't send the money Western Union and the heartbreak it caused. You say your dog called? Yeah, said he needed tuition money for obedience school. That's amazing. No, he's always asking for money for something. Hey, Madonna. What did you do? I sent it. But not Western Union? No. They never treated me special. So it never got there? No. But that's not the worst part. It's not? No. Now he turned the cat against me. Uh -huh. Hey, it's your money. Use Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Not everyone can be a samurai warrior. Not everyone can live by the power of the sword. Not everyone can die with honor. I, for example, make kazoos. Ow! Great station. Once in a while, if you wait long enough, you get to see this. Or this. But why wait when you can have bunches of crutches? Hot on the heels of Choice Mart's smash hit sports video series comes the amazing sports video collection. All new and only from Choice Mart. Five tapes, hours of entertainment, just $19.95. They even poke fun at superstars like Deion Sanders and Sir Charles Barkley. Call now. These are some bone-crunching, hair-raising, side-splitting bloopers most never before seen on TV. They'll make you laugh. They'll make you cringe. You'll get amazing hits, KOs, and crunches, funniest basketball bloopers, funniest sports bloopers, the lighter side of sports, and the amazing superstar sports quiz. Five hard-hitting videos for only $19.95 with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't wait. You'll only be hurting yourself. Call 1-800-205-4455 to get the amazing sports videos collection. Five videos, just $19.95 plus $4.95 shipping. Makes a great gift. Call now. Welcome back. Now imagine sitting down in front of your TV on August 23rd at 10 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning. You're ready to watch USWA wrestling. And at the time, we were broadcasting live from WMC Studios. Well, TV came on, 
things weren't quite right. Nobody in the seats, rings empty, no announcers. What's going on? Well, we were wondering that too. Outside the studios, it was total chaos. Just another in a long line of bizarre happenings in the USWA history. Let's take a look at what happened that day. Hey, you're going to have to go outside. What is going on out here? Wrestling fans, if you're just joining us, we are out in the parking lot of the television studio, and there is ultimate chaos going on here. I can't believe this. There, uh, we have no one in the studio. We have a wrestling show to do. Billy Joe Travis has been picketing in front of the station, this, and, and now... Brian Christopher drove up. As he was driving up, Billy Joe Travis went after Brian Christopher's car, and they have now a brawl ensued, a, a Pier 6 fight ensued, and now the police have arrived. They have separated them. They have both participants handcuffed. I don't know what's going on. Will somebody please tell me what's going on out here? We have a wrestling show to do. This is unbelievable. The fans are out here. The representatives of the USWA, Brian Christopher, is here. The police have separated the participants. The car has been damaged. We've got to get a. We've got a wrestling show to do. Fans, we're gonna. Uh, we're going to have to take a break. I'm going to have to get some... Uh, we're going to have to go to a break or something. I'm going to have to find out what's going on and see if we can get things started here. Let's take this break. Wrestling fans, we're back in the studio. The studio is still empty as the altercation uh, has been broken up now in the parking lot, and we're hopefully going to get some fans in here and get a wrestling show underway. I'll tell you, I, I, this is as crazy as anything I've ever seen in my life as we've got people in the parking lot. As for what happened, Billy Joe Travis, in case you missed it, was picketing the, the television station, picketing the USWA today, outside. Brian Christopher drives into the parking lot. Billy Joe Travis attacked him, or attacked his car. Brian Christopher jumps out of his car. There is Billy Joe, and this is, this is earlier, this is the scene of what happened. From my vantage point, I had heard that he was outside picketing, and then all of a sudden, somebody screamed, and I ran outside, and this is what I saw. Here's Brian Christopher driving up, and then they just get into a fight. And the fight ensued onto another car. There's a fan of the USWA over to try to break things up. There's security arriving. Now, the fans have yet to come in the building at this point. It's just a fight. You know, I mean, just this is this is a street fight. There's there's no doubt about it. They just go after each other. Fisticuffs flying. The police apparently got a call that there was an altercation in the parking lot. They show up. They separate with the help of security and USWA officials. They separate everything. There's Brian Christopher being led away by the USWA officials. And Billy Travis subsequently was handcuffed and is being detained by the police department. And that's where we, that's all I know. What's going on? Michael, I don't know what's going on. Uh, James Bridge out there with Brian Christopher trying to calm down the situation. I was out there, I was one of the ones pulling Brian Christopher off of Billy Travis. Never seen anything like I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath after pulling Brian Christopher off of Billy Travis. Let me tell you, toe to toe with Doug Gilbert in the ring right now. There they are again, the cop car. They're taking Billy Travis away. Doug Gilbert has been nothing short of spectacular since his return to the USWA, taking the measure of Bulldog Reigns. And there you see on camera, Ryan there Christopher again, still Michael. being Brian restrained right from what there. happened earlier. As we started the program on championship wrestling, obviously, matchmaker James Beard trying to keep Brian Christopher and trying to keep cooler heads to prevail. Well, you would think after all of that, things were under control, but not quite. When we come back, we're going to continue the story of Brian Christopher and Billy Joe. Be right back. Oh, sir. 
for girls. Hello, I am a fruit whiz from Starburst. Come nibble on me and boogie with my fruit juiciness. See my wiggle, my twist, my forbidden dance. Oish, oish. Fruit whiz from Starburst. Twist up the juice. Nobody's tougher on motor oil than a police force. The extreme stress and searing heat generated by their hard driving can break down an oil in no time. That's why hard-working police forces use Castrol GTX, the only leading 10W30 that provides maximum protection against both viscosity and thermal breakdown. Because some people have more important things to worry about. Castrol GTX. Drive hard. And try Castrol Syntec Blend for added synthetic protection. I was surprised for all the slackers, but nothing better to do than play games and surf the net all day. Game Call! Legal blood shot eyes on these babies! It's feet! That's rock. Thanks to be touched! Wires you to the internet! And it plays more games than you idiots have brain cells! And Any questions? Then play! Gamecom, the ultimate portable gaming system. Oh, surfer girls. Hello. I am a fruit whiz from Starburst. Come nibble on me and boogie with my fruit juiciness. See my wiggle, my twist, my forbidden dance. Oish, oish. Fruit whiz from Starburst. Twist up the juice. I knew it was time to get on with my life. Believe me, my wife and kids kept reminding me. Jeff had already received offers from three other truck lines, so we increased our offer. So what if he was still in school? We saw his dedication and knew the quality training Jeff was getting. Fifteen years of bouncing job to job. Now I bounce from city to city, seeing the country and making good money doing it. For information on truck driver training, call Nets at 1-800-732-5800. That's 1-800-732-5800. Call now. Hi, I'm Amy, and our admission staff is on hand now to take your call and discuss your future as a professional truck driver. With our comprehensive behind-the-wheel training and career placement assistance, we can have you licensed and on the road. It's time to take that step into the world of transportation, make good money, see the country, and enjoy the security of a career as a professional driver. It's time to put your future on the road to success. So pick up that phone and give us a call right now. It may be the most important call you'll ever make. Billy Joe Travis and Brian Christopher, two guys who really couldn't stand each other. You'd think that'd be a matchmaker's dream. Well, not quite. Problem is, Billy Joe Travis has been suspended. Brian Christopher wants to fight him. What am I going to do? Well, we finally came to a decision, and at the end of this segment, you're going to see some footage that no one's ever seen before. A cage match from the big one. But before that, let's see what led up to that. James, I, I know you've been, uh, you've been away from here. I, I, well, what can I say? It's been a, it's been a crazy I got, day. I just got a couple of things I'd like to say. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize to our fans. I, I know there was a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion at the first of this TV show, and, and I'd like to apologize for that. Uh, some things happened out front, as you know, and, and uh, that situation is in hand now. Uh, uh, hopefully that won't happen again here. Now, PG-13 in action against Flash Flanagan and Steve Dunn here today before the show's over. Here comes Brian Christopher. Let's see if... What are you doing now? Brian, huh? hold it. Just Where's down. Travis now? I've been talking and talking and talking. I'm tired. I don't want to calm down anymore. I'm through talking. I want to know where Travis is. Brian, Travis is not in this company. He is not a member of you. Well, they don't work here. What was he doing sitting out in the park? Today. Answer me that. My understanding. Did you see my, my truck? Did you see my truck? I it's got a dent yes, this I big in it, and I, I'm responsible for it. He's no, responsible not, for it. Brian, What's going to happen about it? Listen to me, okay? Well, well, I'm listening. My understanding is, according to the police, he was out front, not on our property. He was legal in that. Now, I don't know what happened after that, but it's all its all over with right now. Billy Travis is... It is not over yes. with, and it's not going to be over with until I get my hands on Travis. You're not going to get... Now, if he don't hands. work for this company, then you hire him. You make sure that he works for this company, because I want him, way. and I want him You're bad. I want him... I the 31st. You I want him in Memphis on the 31st. It's not going to happen in a USWA building. It is going to happen. You better get your hands. Get out of here. Listen to me. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I want Billy Travis on the 31st. I don't care if we got him doing that in the parking lot. A day for major happenings in the USWA, matchmaker James Beard. We only have a second here, but I want to let everybody know out there, I apologize once more for the confusion today. We have added a match 
for the big card at the big one on the 31st. It's not going to be inside. It's going to be out in the parking lot. It's going to be free to the fans. Billy Joe Travis, Brian Christopher in a cage. There's Billy Travis again. Billy Travis out there with James Beard. He's got that baseball bat. We really need to get Billy Travis out of here. Let's listen to what's going on here. You think I'm in trouble out here? No, I understand that Brian Christopher may have been trying to get into the parking lot and is somewhere in the area. I hope that's not the case. We don't need a repeat of last week's incident, particularly with Billy with a baseball bat out there. Billy Joe's going to take this ball bat and throw it at everybody. Well, you haven't seen Brian Christopher yet in the building. Have you? No, I have not. And he is scheduled here today, right? He is scheduled for an interview a little bit later on, and I have not seen him thus far. This is not a good situation at all. Uh, Billy Joe Travis should be off of here. Uh, oh, my God. Well, speak of the devil, there he is. Brian Christopher coming in like a house of fire. Right, this is not a good situation at all. Oh, my God, they're getting into it on the street again. Uh, last week, the police were called when this happened. We don't want this to happen again. And only we need some help out there for James Beard, for sure. James Beard is not going to be able to handle this on his own. We need security outside immediately. Could security get outside him? Billy Joe seems to be taken off. Too sexy Brian Christopher charging into the parking lot like on a house of fire. Get away from me. I said, get away from me! Travis! Travis! I know somebody's gonna tell you what I'm about to say, and I want him to tell you each and every word. It's just a It's just a You've been looking for me? Well, you'll know what I me. And I've gotta keep trying to, Travis! You started this, I'm gonna be the one to finish it. You bringing these baseball bats for me? I'm gonna have this baseball bat and a lot more for you, punk. You be there, cause I'll be there waiting on you. Look at this, look at these two, uh... Hey, wait, 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 Fire with the chair and Billy Travis in the ring going after Brian Christopher with the chair. Let's get some help in here. Here's the officials from the USWA, Billy Christopher waylaying Brian with that chair. And now here comes the security from out in the dressing room. They're trying to restrain Billy Christopher. That's Maker James Beard in the ring. What is he doing here? I don't know. Brian Christopher's out here. Brian Christopher's out here with a bucket. Shoot. Brian Christopher in the ring. Going after Billy Joe Trumpets with a pail. Nailing him with that pail. Dutch Mantel's in the ring. The massive doomsday in the ring. And Brian Christopher is cleaning house with that pail. Going after Travis. Travis, of course, and Brian Christopher have been at odds. Now Dutch Mantel has Shoe Baby wrapped around Brian Christopher's neck. Oh, my goodness. Travis now in control, a bloody mess here at the big one. Just gouging away on Brian Christopher, nails him with a right hand. They are locked inside of a cage at the Big One Expo Center in front of about 1,500 fans on the outside. Travis now setting him up for that pile driver on the concrete parking lot here at the Big One. They are in a cage in the parking lot of the Big One Expo Center right here in Memphis, Tennessee. Christopher now has that guitar, but look out, here comes Billy Travis. Oh, my goodness. Brian Christopher, that was the shot heard around the world. Billy Travis is climbing the cage, trying to make his way out. The cage, Christopher's on the cage now. The fans are getting rowdy. Oh, Travis falls from the cage. Look out. Rod Price is climbing the cage right out in front of us. I've never seen anything like this. This is total mayhem. Rod Price, the madman, is in the ring with Brian Christopher. Billy Travis is re-entering the ring area. 
Travis is a bloody mess. Meanwhile, Price and Christopher look out. And Flash Flanagan are making their way out. trying to get out of the cage but is being restrained Christopher is incensed he wants another piece of Billy Travis Rod Price came in over the top of the cage Billy Travis leaving the cage Travis leaving the cage right out in front of us this was like nothing we've ever seen Brian Christopher is incensed and he wants one more piece of Billy Joe Travis they will have another day Oh, that was some wild action. I hope you enjoyed that. You never know what's going to happen on USWA television. Well, coming up next, we've got four guys who are quite prominent in the wrestling world today. But one time, they were all right here in USWA. We'll be right back. Snowfox 2-1, this is Snowfox Base. It's Snowfox 2-1, go ahead, over. Weather closing at 2-1, get back now. This is for Drill Sergeant Carl, who showed me what it takes to be a leader, and for myself, who became one. What's got the entertainment world buzzing? Who's hot, who's not, those stories? Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, I got some really big news from 1-800-COLLECT. That's right, now you can call Collect for 10 cents a minute. 10 cents every evening and all weekend long. That's right, now 1-800-COLLECT, the savings are bigger than ever. Wow, that's pretty amazing. What was that number again? 1-800-COLLECT, fool! Oh, surfer girls. Hello. I am a fruit whiz from Starburst. Come nibble on me and boogie with my fruit juiciness. See my wiggle, my twist, my forbidden dance. Oosh, oosh. Fruit whiz from Starburst. Twist up the juice. Announcing a health care plan where your doctor bills cost this much. Where your hospital room looks like this. Where this is your medicine chest. Presenting health care where you hold all the choices. New choices in natural healing. Between these covers, there are no expensive antibiotics or prescription drugs. Just natural cures that help your body heal itself. Clear sinus congestion instantly with this plant. Lower high blood pressure with these foods. Dissolve wrinkles on the spot with this natural oil. Stop smoking with help from this blend of juices. Natural alternative remedies that require no doctor visits or shocking pharmacy bills. Call now to examine new choices in natural healing free for 10 days. If you decide it's not for you, return it and owe nothing. If you like what you see, it's yours for just four installments of $6.99. Yours free for calling now. Five-Minute Cures is packed with fast-acting solutions for everyday health problems. New choices in natural healing. Here's to your health. Call now. Welcome back. Now, what you're about to see took place in February of 1993. It features... For one, Lex Luger, who is one of the most powerful wrestlers in the business today. Also, Jerry the King Lawler, the most dominant champion of USWA history. And Jeff Jarrett, the son of the great Jerry Jarrett. And Brian Christopher, who's, well, he's Brian Christopher. Let's take a look at this really unique tag team match. Luger and Lawler tail out. Right in the middle of the ring. Luger backs 
the king up against the turnbuckles. Gonna be a break for Lawler. Luger won't give it to him now. Double up fist takes Lawler, whips him into the rope. Lawler comes off and big backflip from Luger. Look at Luger, boy. And that's the way Lawler whips him into the rope. Oh, the king comes off with a right hand of his own. Jared tangles out with Luger and backs Luger up against the turnbuckle. Make me live. Boy, look at Jeff trying to go for the hip toss on Luger. Can't get him up and look at Luger. He slams Jeff Jarrett down hard. And goes the whip him into the ropes and Lex holds on. Takes Jeff Jarrett, slams him in. Clothesline from Alex Luger, right hand. Takes Jeff Jarrett. Jeff goes under, comes back. What a drop kick this is Luger now. And again, look at Jeff Jarrett. Slams Alex Luger down. And slams Jarrett into the turn buckle. Look at Luger. Slams him again into the turn buckle. section and a big farm from Luger Christopher, Luger's got Jared and Christopher knows Jeff Jarrett sends him down take Jeff whips him in Jared comes up look at Jeff leap over but he catches the boot from Christopher Ron Christopher gets out of the way look at him set Jared up though Luger Kicks him right in the midsection. Takes Darren into the hole. Christopher and Luger jump on Jared in there. Luger picks Jeff Jarrett up and whips him into the wall. Look at Jeff. Good looking sunset flip. Luger won't fall. He finally gets him. Two. And Lex Luger kicks out at two. Look at Jeff. Roll him up in there. One, two. Luger kicks out at two again. Jeff gets on his feet. Just clover Lawler with a right hand. Lawler trying to go in. Jeff over the top rope. Right over the top, he threw Jeff Jarrett. Puts out at two. Christopher whips Jeff into the rope. Jarrett leaps over, comes back under again, sets. And a big kick from Jeff Jarrett. Just kind of shoved Christopher down that time. <laughs> Jeff over trying to get tag on Lawler. Christopher gets a tag on Luger, and Jared tags the king. Strap comes out, and look at Jerry Lawler. Left and right, they send Luger down. Now it's Christopher. Everybody's in there. Jared whips Christopher into the rope. Picks him up and drops him down face first. Oh, what a move from Jeff Jarrett. Slams Christopher into the turnbuckle. Hey, Jerry Lawler's got Lex Luger, and he Paul draws the narcissist. Lawler, Paul draws Luger over there, and the King says, wait just one minute, though. Lawler looks like he may have fire in there. Rather, the King Jerry Lawler burns Brian Christopher in there as Luger, Lex Luger, tried to get out of the way. Oh boy, and it all breaks loose. Bruce Brothers, Ryan and Don Harris jump on Lawler and Jared, along with Lex Luger, and they jump on downtown Bruce. Today, 
Okay, people who didn't send the money, Western Union and the heartbreak it caused. So what happened? My Aunt Leona called. She was throwing a party and she sprung a leak. She did? Well, her tub did, and I told Mercury here to send money. I did. But not Western Union. Her aunt sprung a leak and you didn't use Western Union? No, and it took right. forever. And what does Aunt Leona have to say? <laughs> hey, it's your money. Use Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Traveling with any baggage? Yeah, here he comes now. Oh, ah! oh man. Ah! Hey, what are you looking at? Hey, no peanut jokes. <laughs> I feel so violated. What is so suspicious about candy-coated chocolates who walk and talk? I guess you gotta check out everybody, though. Wow. Great casting job. Excuse me, gorgeous. Is this a snack flight? <laughs> it is now. Ah! Pick up the phone, pick up the phone, and dial my number, and dial my number. Pick up the phone, pick up the phone, oh, 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 oh. and dial my number, and dial my number. If you're at home, if you're at home, and dial, and dial, and dial. You want some fun, you want some fun. Call 1-800-293-7700. Adults only, please. Pick up the phone, pick up the phone, oh, 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 oh. and dial my number. you to see what this anointing is leading you up to. When burdens are being removed and yokes are being destroyed, that's changing the way you live. Change your life. Change your world with Creflo Dollar. Join Creflo Dollar here on Changing Your World, Monday through Friday. In the past few months, three teams have dominated action in the USWA and searched for that tag team gold. Stephen Dunn and Flash Flanagan, Rex King and Paul Diamond, and PG-13. Now, these three teams have battled each other just about everywhere USWA goes. And what you're about to see is a film from one night at the big one in Memphis. At that time, Stephen Dunn and Flash Flanagan were the tag team champions. Now, the match you're going to see highlights of first comes from PG-13 against Rex King and Paul Diamond. The winner of this match gets a shot at the champions. Let's see what happened that night at the big one. Now, right, we're underway here. This is a tag team elimination match between PG-13, uh, Rex King, and, and Paul Diamond. The winner of this match gets a shot at the USWA Tag Team Champions, Stephen Dunn and Flash Flanagan, later on in the evening. And looks like the action started early. Wolfie D over the top, and Paul Diamond clotheslines him quickly off of that. Early mistake by Wolfie D. You know, he got a little overconfident. Paul Diamond took full advantage of it. Cut ahead. Starting out getting nasty right off the bat here. There's a reversal into the ropes, and, well, Paul Diamond takes advantage of him again. And looks like Wolfie's going up and down. We're on the back here. Right on his back. Well, he's under him there. He's going to try to take him over, but he doesn't like it's going to work. Paul Diamond reverses it. Wolfie D goes for an elbow, misses it. And uh, DDT, that's, that's going to slow down Paul Diamond a little bit. Oh, yeah. Nice move by Wolfie D. And a clothesline by Wolfie D. And that, that took Paul Diamond off his feet. And outside the ring he goes. They almost caught him in midair. And here comes Wolfie D over the top. And down they all go. Let's graduate. With... Well, Paul Diamond sort of slows down J.C. Ice on the outside of the ring there using the barricade, and J.C. Ice is hurting on the on the floor. Across the head, that, that's got a, oh my goodness, dropped a leg on it. Another leg on it, that's that Japanese move from Rex King. Seen that a few times. And in comes Whoopi D, now they're gonna fight a little bit. I don't think Whoopi wants to go toe to toe against Rex King here. Now they're gonna double up on him, gonna shoot him in. Double back drop, and he landed on his feet. Oh, oh nice. double DDT, J.C. Ice. J.C. Ice, get to their feet. trying to crawl to the ropes. Now he's rolling, he makes his tag. Here comes Wolfie D. Oh, he's firing away on Rex King now. Shoots him in. Over with the back drop, and here comes Paul Diamond. He kicks him in the stomach. Looks like he's going for a pile driver here. Rex King can get to his feet. Now it's a power bomb. Down he goes. Rex shooting Wolfie D in. He ducks the clothesline and a double drop kick. They're going to use it on Wolfie there D. There you go. There's Paul Diamond. He, oh, he hits Rex King with it. And Rex King's covered by Wolfie D. Here's the count. One, two, 
Three, that's, that's it. it. Looks like PG-13 is going to the finals. Action underway here quickly already. Flash Flanagan with J.C. Ice in the ring. This match for the USWA Tag Team Championship. PG-13 earlier tonight defeated Rex King and Paul Diamond in an elimination bout, and now they're facing the champions in this championship match. And a big airplane spin there. J.C. Ice is dizzy. Flash Flanagan goes for a clothesline, misses him, boots him in the stomach, and a DDT, and down goes J.C. Ice. Flanagan off the top rope and a fist to the side. Man, that's got to hurt for the rib cage there. Dead, he's laying down on the floor at the big one. Now here he comes. I see his eyes popping up. And over the top goes Flash Flanagan. What a move off into the barricade. And here comes J.C. Ice after Flanagan out on the floor. And now all four men into it. It's going to matter to the referee here. Well, he is counting. I think he's just going to let this go. There goes Stephen Dunn. Elbow to the stomach. And he misses on the knee, and J.C. Ice misses. Oh, stomach punch right there by Stephen Dunn and a knee lift, and J.C. Ice goes to the outside. They both do a lot of exciting moves, and there goes Whoopi D into the corner. Stephen Dunn, monkey flip out of the corner, and down goes Whoopi D, and he fills that one. Boot to the stomach and back into the corner again. Here comes Stephen Dunn, and this time uh, he was pulled off. I think J.C. Ice must have gouged him in the eye. That tags in Wolfie D. Here they come. These guys really know how to work that tag team. Doubling up on Stephen Dunn in the beat up, but he's got a lot of time to recover. Off he goes, and a back drop. Oh, my goodness. He moves out of the way, and Wolfie D takes a pounding, and it misses the, the elbow drop there from J.C. Ice. Reeling. He makes the tag. Here comes Flash Flanagan. Flanagan firing away on Wolfie D and J.C. Ice. Flash going in there like a like a hot storm. He's tearing everything up right now. He's got Whoopi D on the top rope. It looks like now he's going to go for the superplex. Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankensteiner off the top for some reason. Wow, I missed that one. Did uh, you see what that? Happened there? What happened there? They're on the floor. I don't know. Did he get I the cover? I saw cutter? that hubcap. Something happened. There's the cover. Whoopi D wins and PG-13 of the new USWA Tag Team Champions. Well, PG-13 has been a great team throughout the years in the USWA, and once again, they're on top. And when we come back, we're going to see some more of that bizarre, chaotic action that the USWA is well known for. Watch as Stridex does absolutely nothing to this terrible bathtub ring. Yuck, it'll never come off. And wait, that's not all. Just look at the unsightly tarnish on Grandma's priceless tea service. Stridex will never get it out. Oh, no. This horrible coffee stain has been there for days. And with Stridex, we guarantee it'll be there for the rest of your life. So why doesn't Stridex work in any of these situations? Because Stridex is for cleaning your face. Stridex works great on zits. Freezing, it's quiet, but you get used to it. You grow to love it. Snow Fox 2-1, this is Snow Fox base. This is Snow Fox 2-1. Then a storm comes up, and I'm the one who's got to get us out of here. And I remember who gave me courage. This is for them. For my mom and dad, who never missed a game. For Joe Sergeant McCardle, who showed me what it takes to be a leader. Potential contact, Sergeant. And for myself, who became one. Chuck, here's lunch. Thanks. How's business? Not bad. Yours? It's okay. Hey, what's that on your screen? Oh, that. QuickBooks accounting software from the makers of Quicken. I called a toll-free number and got a free trial version. My system works fine for me. <laughs> That's what I thought. But if you have bills to pay or customers who owe you money, you really ought to try this. Yeah, I really don't have time to learn new software. Well, if you can write a check, you can use QuickBooks. Answer a few questions and it tailors itself to your business. Now I create invoices like these. Yeah, but my business is so different from yours. Ah, but that's what makes QuickBooks so great. It's the number one software for any small business. It has accounts payable, accounts receivable, even payroll and inventory. And you never have to enter information twice. There's over 60 customizable reports that put you in control. Know if you're making or losing money. Sounds pretty good. I'm going to get that free trial version. Nothing to lose. Call 1-888-229-6100. That's 1-888-229-6100. Welcome back. ECW and USWA for the past several months have had some, I guess you'd say, differences. But to be honest with you, their differences stem from being so similar. The history of the USWA is full of 
wild, crazy action, uh, bizarre events. And really, that's what makes CCW so popular at the time. What we're going to show you in the next couple of segments is what happens when these two companies butt heads. Tommy Dreamer, the big gun from ECW, against Jerry the King Lawler and ultimately the icon Dutch Mantell. Let's take a look at this footage. Coming this way, Lance. Watch out. Dreamer hollering at Lawler. Mr. Wrestling. It's taken six, seven men to hold this gentleman back. I mean, Dreamer is, he is incensed, and of course, Lawler, Lawler's ready to take him on, but I don't, I don't know if this arena, I don't know if this television station could stand what happened last week. Slipped out for, uh oh, uh oh, more uh -oh. trouble, more trouble. Look out, oh, he could just stay on LA Pollock. Look out. Let me tell you, this uh, was plain, downright, good old USWA, rough and tumble style. As we said, Dreamer that you see right there, uh, and the rest of them, Sandman and everybody else, talked like that ECW is the only one that had any rough and tough style. Well, check it out. You'll find out. Whoa! Flaked up and caught the Sandman, and off the top turnbuckle, Tommy Dreamer. This was some kind of very good action. And just typical of the kind of wild and woolly hair raising fun stuff that you'll find out there at the big one when USWA is out there. It's fun for the fans, not so much fun for the guys that are getting their heads busted around. A lot of rough and tumble guys going to the ring right at the moment. You see them. ECW's top crew of Dreamer and Sandman came in. 
They were going to take charge. Do it all. Whoa. Look at that. Just didn't quite work out exactly the way that they had figured. It was quite a scrap, though, and I can guarantee you everybody was there. Got double their money's worth. ECW and USWA, two organizations having problems, Jerry the King Lawler and Tommy Dreamer in particular. When we come back, we're going to show you how the icon Dutch Mantel gets involved in this situation. He defeats Jerry the King Lawler for the Unified World Championship, and uh, what he gets into with Tommy Dreamer, well, see for yourself. We'll be back in just a moment. Look out, coming through. Woo, these St. Bernard's are heavy. What'd you think, we only deliver little people babies? Nah, we get them all. But I never get as many questions about you folks as I do our furry friends. And not just the babies, I'm asked about the big guys too. You know, I always said these guys ought to come with an instruction manual. And now, they do. The Doctor's Book of Home Remedies for Dogs and Cats. It's the ultimate guide to home pet care. And you can preview it free for 10 days. You'll even get this special two-in-one book free for calling now. Did you know you can fight fleas with garlic, cure gas with a tennis ball, freshen breath with a carrot? Over 200 top vets, trainers, and groomers reveal over 1,000 vet-approved cures you can easily do at home. Quiet your dog's barking with 15 cents on a soda can, using petroleum jelly to prevent hairballs. Call now to review this book free for 10 days. If you like it, keep it for just four easy payments of $6.99. And this valuable book is yours, free. Your pets are worth a free look, so call now. They're two very different guys. The Yankee packs a gun, but Molly brings his wolf. Have you considered a gun? Too many legalities. They're as opposite as north and south. You're a freak. Understood. But together... Let's lock our load. It's lock and load. No, lock and load. I'm sorry. They're an unbeatable team. Chicago PD! Paul Gross stars in Due South, a new direction in crime fighting. The tour has begun. The ABL Dutch Mantel 97 tour has begun. And I'm not going to be like the previous owner of the belt. I'm going to put it up against each and everybody, except one man, of course, the previous owner. As you can see, the ABL tour is in effect right now. And I don't care if it's Tommy Dreamer. I don't care if it's Brian Christopher. I don't care if it's Doug Gilbert. I don't care if it's Hulk Hogan. I don't care if it's Bret Hart. It don't make me no never mind. But let me tell you one thing. And Dreamer, let me tell you something. You're talking about extreme championship wrestling. Well, you know, why don't you bring your big buddy Sandman with you? Have him that drunk guy king has just come out. his head with a beer can and cut himself up. That's not extreme to me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. I think this is my interview, and I think he should be escorted out. Security should take him off right now. Obviously, he's not aware of the ABL tour. Anybody but Lawler. Did you know that? That's Hey, yeah, I know. I've heard you say anybody but Lawler until I'm sick of it. You can mention names like Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair or anybody you want to. But, yeah, just shove it over here, Dutch. Let me just tell you the only reason I'm out here. Because, you see, I know, I know I'm not getting a shot until I go through Rod Price. I've already seen that in black and white. But what the problem is, Dutch, the problem is, yeah, why don't you step out of the way, idiot? You know what? You are useless out here. Totally stinking useless. Now, let me tell you something. The only thing you're doing, Dutch, and it's very obvious to me and it's very obvious to everybody else, you're putting this belt on the line against Tommy Dreamer, and what's going to happen is Tommy Dreamer, and I know this from experience, is going to kick your hairy butt all over the building. Yeah, he will kick, yes, he will. He will kick your butt all over the building, and then you will lose that belt, and then I'm going to have to go back to that extremely crappy wrestling and get my belt back from Tommy Dreamer. Let me say something right now. Do you think Tommy Dreamer can beat me? You know, you think he can beat me? Tommy Dreamer thinks... I know he can beat you. Okay, I guess I'm the only one who thinks I can win. Well, you didn't think I could beat you, Lawler, and I did. Well, I, I got it, don't I? You didn't beat me. You doomsday... Get up here, Barons. He's trying to threaten me. Security, come on out here. I'm going to tell you, if you've got such a... Pro I give Tommy Dreamer a shot, you wouldn't even do it. You oh got Tommy and Dreamer. Dreamer has come out 
Oh, God. Dutch has been thrown into the ring, and the king is on Dreamer. It's a three-way brawl all of a sudden here at USWA Wrestling. Tommy Dreamer has arrived here today on Championship Wrestling. And coming out after Dutch Mantel and Jerry Lawler, and now we're getting some help Thank goodness out here. the locker room is clearing. Tony, I knew this was going to happen, Tony. I was afraid this was going to happen. Dreamer is in on Lawler. They're, with, they're holding Dutch back. This is all the way out of hand. We need more people out here. The locker room has emptied. Once again, Tommy Dreamer has made his presence known here in the USWA. Over there, in the, engaged in a big brawl with Tommy Dreamer is Dutch Mantel. Jerry Lawler trying to get over there and get a piece of him. Pandemonium has broken loose and the locker room has cleared out. Yeah, Tommy Dreamer came out with Beulah McGillicuddy, his partner from ECW. Okay, good, she's got him out of the ring. Hopefully we'll just get out of, oh, here comes Dutch again. And they're taking it to the crowd. This is gonna be a dangerous. Everybody, get out of the way. Tommy Dreamer and Dutch Mantel are in the crowd. We need to get some extra reinforcements in here. This should not be happening. Move back over here, please. All right, this is going into the crowd. This is getting ridiculous here. We need more security immediately. Come on, we need more security. Tommy Dreamer wreaking havoc here in the USWA, coming in like a bat out of hell. We're trying to get them out of here. Waller. Dutch, Taking get out of here. Dutch. Oh my, God. Dutch has picked up shoe, baby. He's got Dreamer around the throat. Dutch Mantel has Shoe Baby around the throat of Tommy Dreamer and is dragging him around the floor here at the USWA Auditorium. This is ridiculous. All right, we need to get this stopped. This is getting totally out of hand. Oh, oh my goodness. James Beard has just taken a real Tommy big Dreamer shot to the forehead. Just James Beard. All right, that's it. Somebody get. Beulah. Get him out of here. I'm getting out of the way. Oh, now Tommy Dreamer high-fiving the fans after going in the middle. Oh, Dutch, Dutch Mantel is Mantel back is out. Back out here. Nails Tommy Dreamer with that shoe baby, the whip of Dutch Mantel. And once again, they are tangled up in a big brawl. Several guys out now trying to break him up. Thank goodness they got James Beard out of here. Uh, this is just got totally out of hand. Uh, I tell you, there's Tommy Dreamer is a madman with his partner in crime, Bu Beulah. You know it's going to come to a head between these three people at some point, Tony. Oh, my God. I swear. Well, it looks like the things are calming down a bit, although the icon is still out here. Dutch Mantel looks incensed. He wants his hands on Tommy Dreamer. Look, well, we're about ready to get under. Oh, my goodness. Dutch Mantel just... Pearl Harbor, Tommy Dreamer right off the bat. This match has started wild already. Well, you know, Dutch snuck up behind him when he had his back turned. Tommy Dreamer was getting his lady out of the ring, and Dirty Dutch took the opportunity. Now we're off. Oh, it's oh, the chair. There's the first chair of the night. And I uh, used it right on the top of Dutch Mantel's head. Hitting him with his fist. Now uh, he's going to get his chair in. And he does, across the back of Tommy Dreamer. He's got Dreamer rocking up there. He's in trouble. Mantel shooting Tommy Dreamer into the ropes. Oh, leg oh, drop. Oh, oh, right onto the chair. My goodness. What the world is he doing? Tommy Dreamer taking Dutch, picking him out of him, and throwing him onto the barrier. Going back to Dutch Mantel, and he's going, oh, pounds him right what on the bed, I tell you. He rang his bell. Ring. And here he comes. What's he doing? He's, oh, my goodness, a drop kick right into the face of Dutch Mantel with a chair. Interference. I mean, I think Bill that, Dundee's interference. Uh, oh, there goes see, Dundee. That's, that's what he gets. There he you goes. Know, he was an earlier. Mantel shoots Dreamer into the ropes. Uh, DDT. Looks like he's got him. That could be it. He's got him it now. could be going back to Where's the referee? Where's the referee? Who, that, who, who is this? That's that's Dreamer's valet. She can't count that. Here comes, oh my, Jerry Lawler's in the ring and he pounds. Dream oh, that he looks Lawler is helping Dutch. Oh, he's helping Dutch. He counts one, two, three. This kid.
We're definitely breaking new ground here. Announcing a publishing first in magazines for women. Women are ready for this. Introducing Condé Nast Sports for Women. Women love sports. They want a magazine that's made for them, and the reaction has been, it's about time. It's about getting better at your sport. It's inspiration to try something new. This magazine is about a passion that a lot of women have felt for a long time, and there hasn't been anything out there. There'll be information on where to hike, where to bike, where to rock climb, how to do that to begin with. Gabrielle Reese is going to write about what it is to be a woman and an athlete today. Subscribe with this special charter offer, 12 monthly issues for just $1 each. Plus, get this handy sports bag free. Hi, Bob Vila here to show you a unique new craftsman tool no home should be without. Craftsman Handy Cut Utility Cutters, the one tool you can count on for all kinds of tough cutting jobs. Craftsman Handy Cut does the job of utility knives, carpet knives, shears, shop cutters, and more. Look how tough it is to make a good cut through this damaged garden hose with a utility knife. Craftsman Handy Cut gets it done in one clean cut. It's a terrific small branch and shrub pruner. Shears or shop cutters can't trim vinyl flooring as easily as the Craftsman Handy Cut. Use the Craftsman Handy Cut to cut nearly any common household material, including rope, plastic, leather, vinyl, and rubber. Call now, and you can order your Craftsman Handy Cut for only $19.99. And remember, when you buy from Sears, your satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. To order your Craftsman Handy Cut, get your Sears card or the credit card ready and call 1-800-641-4114. That's 1-800-641-4114. Call right now. Wow, what exciting action that was. You know, when those guys get together, you never know what's going to happen. I don't believe anyone thinks that Jerry Lawler was trying to help Dutch Mantel. I know he doesn't like him very much. However, I think this maybe shows you how little he cares for Tommy Dreamer and his ECW cohorts. We've seen a lot of action today. We've seen action in the ring, in the parking lot, out in a steel cage. It's been a very exciting day. Hope you've enjoyed it. So until next week, we'll be right here with more USWA action and USWA Championship Wrestling.